access the student registration online portal, simply visit our homepage. Hover over the Departments link and select Central Registration and Residency. On the Central Registration page, you'll see a number of useful links with different forms, hours and locations, and a link to the online registration portal. Click the link to get started. Once the portal has loaded, if you already have a login created and are registering a new student, enter your username and password and click login. But if this is your first time registering a student online, click the start button. Before getting started, read the brief welcome message and check the box that says, I'm ready to begin. Once you've checked the box, you'll notice the Save and Next button begins to flash. A flashing Save and Next button means you're ready to continue and you can click the button. On this page, you're going to create and set up your user account. Start off by creating a username. Next, enter your valid email address in the space below. Once that's entered, please create a unique password. Passwords must contain more than six characters. Once entered, verify in the space below. Finally, choose a security question that you will remember the answer to and enter that answer in the space provided. Once all required fields are entered, you can hit Save and Next. Required fields will always be marked with a red asterisk, letting you know they must be filled out. Now that you've created your account, you will begin to answer questions required to register your child with the school district. It's important that these questions are answered honestly and accurately in order to register your child in the school district. On each page, be sure that you've answered all the required questions. Once you have, the Save and Next button will begin to flash and you can continue by clicking on the button. On this page, you will begin to enter your student's information. At the top of the page are two forms that can be downloaded and printed to be filled out before coming in to the Central Registration Office. One is the Homeowner Certificate form and the other the Landlord Certificate form. Both, again, can be downloaded, printed, and filled out prior to coming in to the Central Registration Office. As you are entering information on the online registration portal, you'll come across a number of different question types. Some fill in the blank, others check boxes, and some are drop-down menus in which you would choose the correct answer. For some fill-in-the-blank questions, the online portal will make answer suggestions based on the question. In this instance, the online portal is suggesting the names of different streets and roads in the area. The more you type in your answer field, the more specific and narrow the answers will become. Simply click on the answer that applies. While filling out your student's online registration, don't worry if you've forgotten any of the required questions. If you do, the question will be highlighted in red and inform you that this particular question is required and needs your attention. Some questions are what's called trigger questions and vary depending on the answer you choose. In this case, NA allows you to move on, but if you choose OK, a number of other questions appear and are required to be answered. When you reach the siblings page, you will be asked to enter any information for siblings of school age. If there are none, simply select No and hit Save and Next. If there are, click Yes and How Many. Depending on how many you choose, you will get that number of fields to fill out. Entering the sibling's information in these fields does not register that student. Those students will still have to be registered separately. Again, entering sibling information in these sibling fields does not register that student. Those students will have to be registered 
separately. On the student race and ethnicity page, you must answer each of the questions below. However, you can check yes for more than just one. Answer all that apply and click the Save and Next button. The notification page allows you to enter the phone number in which you receive voicemails regarding absences, school delays, early dismissals, and other important announcements. On this page, you can also opt in to be notified via email or text message. Under the emergency contact page, you will be able to enter an additional contact to be notified in the case of an emergency. The student's parents and or guardians will be the first to be contacted. Please do not enter parent or student information here again. This is for additional individuals to be contacted after the parent and guardians were attempted to be called. On the legal restrictions page, enter any and all persons that are prohibited to have contact with your student and the reasons why. You will then be asked to enter medical information regarding your student, such as family doctor, dentist, and allergies. All this information can be updated and changed at a later point. You're almost done. Towards the end of the online registration portal, you'll be asked to enter your initials or full name in certain fields. This will serve as your electronic signature for these documents. Once you've completed your student's online registration, you'll have the opportunity to look over and review all the answers that you've put in. You'll even have the capability to make changes to any of the answers that you see. Once you've looked over all the information and everything seems correct, you'll be given a final checklist of things that you will need to bring in when you visit Central Registration. If you have any questions and to schedule your appointment, call the number on this page. Once you have finished, simply click Continue. Now that you've finished registering your student and created your account, you can log in to the online portal anytime you please. Simply use your username and password that you created. Once you've logged in, you can view any and all students that have been registered or started the registration process for, delete those students, edit the information for those students, and add new students as well. While logged in, you can also update and edit your account information, change your username, email, password, and or security question and answer, but be sure to click Save and Next. If you should find that you've forgotten your password, no need to worry. Simply click the Login Help button on the main login page, enter your username, and click Get Question. The security question that you have chosen will appear. Enter the answer you provided when originally registering your student. Click Email Password and the password will be sent to your email shortly. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it's been helpful. For any further questions and information, please call the HTSD Central Registration Office at 609-631-4184.